Um, must be pretty happy, you know, to get the first win. The UFC, I know, it came together at pretty short notice, but how does it feel to, you know, get the stunt tonight? Yeah, uh, I feel great. I would have liked to get the finish, um, but you know, that's not where the fight went. So I, uh, I feel like I was the smarter fighter tonight. Yeah, I mean, just talk us through a little bit how this came together, because I know it was short notice. They needed another fight to the, uh, on the card. When yeah. did they call you? And you know. What did you do to prepare yourself on such a short camp? Yeah, so uh, two two Sundays ago, I was walking out of church with my whole family, and I got the call um, from my coach who told me, he said, I have bad news and I have good news. And he's I go, okay, I need the bad news. He goes, your next fight's at 125, because usually I fight at 115. Right. And he said, but the good news is you're fighting in the UFC in two weeks. So um, it was pretty awesome. You know, I had my, I, my whole family around me, and uh, just to be able to experience that moment with them, it was surreal. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely had the loss of Status. Yes. Your, your people cheering for you. What have you yep. to you know, get a win like that in front of them on this stage? Yeah, it was amazing. You know, this is uh, this is the cage where so many legends have been before me, and uh, just to be able to walk in their footsteps and do the things that they're doing, the people that I've idolized my whole life, um, it's a dream come true. Yeah. Did it help you out any to know that everything that you were going through in terms of nerves and you know how coming in from your first fight, she was going through as well? Yeah, it helped a little bit. Um, you know, I know she took the fight last minute as well. And, uh, you know, nothing but respect to her and her camp. And it did help. You know, she usually fights at 115 also. So uh, for us to be both be in the exact same boat was best case scenario for me. How did you like fighting at 125 compared to 115? For two weeks notice, I loved it. But uh, at, uh, usually I would rather fight at 115. I like that. I like, I like misery a little bit. So it uh, makes me a little bit more prepared for the fight. So, yeah. How was your experience? Was it you, were you expecting? Uh, it was more than I had expected. We got here on Tuesday and just the whole process has been so smooth and um, you know you kind of get a behind the scenes of what goes into all of these fights so besides just walking out to the cage seeing what all the fighters go through so yeah it was an amazing experience. And I, I know this is not your division but yeah. this has been on the news. Uh, Chris Cyborg has been yeah. one of the faces of women's MMA for, for quite a while and it seems uh, you know, she's uh, departing from, from the UFC. I'm curious if you have any thoughts. To be honest, I know a lot of things have happened this week and I haven't really even looked at anything so uh, I don't really have any comments on that but um, I'm sure she'll find a great organization that you know she'll dominate that too. I know you said the next uh, step is back to straw weight. You didn't have any names in mind yeah. but what about a card or a time frame? Uh, when, honestly, whenever I'm re I'm ready, so uh, I stay ready. I I like to have some fight camps, but again, I'll, I took a fight on two weeks' notice, so I'm ready whenever they are.